Hello there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of <sighs> Hooked on You, a Dead by Daylight dating sim. I'm still playing it, or rather, playing it all. We're still uploading it. Anyways, uh, it's time for another episode of this. Enjoy watching me be emotionally tormented. You turned the Wraith and let out a sigh. Wow. Are you becoming more like him? Wraith? Since I got to this island, I have been drawn to your quiet nature, your unassuming good looks, the nervous energy you bring to every situation, no matter how normal and mundane. I love the way your brain works, I love the way your body moves, and I love how we are together. Wraith looks like he just wanted the Earth to explode from an orbiting space shuttle. His mouth hangs open a little, his eyebrows twitch. No one can tell if he's too excited to process, or partially dead. Uh, got anything to, to say, Wraith? Sounds about right. As you board the yacht, Wraith is unsurprisingly quiet, but the awkward vibes are down by about 60%, so good job, I guess. It was nice of Trapper to volunteer his yacht for the start of this day long date, but a bit dismissive of him to say that you two were so boring that the yacht itself wouldn't even notice you were there. What would he know about fun anyway? He was an old-timey one-piece bathing suit that looked strong made for some bygone carnival. Come to think of it, that actually is a little fun. Wraith just has a regular old button-up shirt and shorts on. No, now is the time to think about Trapper and the way his vintage singlet hugs his curves just right. That's what he wants. Classic Trapper Trap. You're here with Wraith, remember? Who you chose for some very good reason. Reasons you must have, I'm sure. You cast all of the thoughts out of your mind and sit at the edge of the deck, looking out at the ocean, wondering what's out there, where you even are. The gentle rocking of the waves feels com comforting as you turn to face your paramour. Wraith looks at the ground, holding Azeroth's skull. So, um, I, I really wasn't expecting this. I'm not really sure why you picked me. I know it might seem weird, but I need to spend some time with other killers on the island and you know what, now I'm 100% sure you're the one for me. To prove your point, you decide to read Rafe's a path, 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 a poem about love. Uh, I don't think it's Edgar Allan Poe. Just gonna take a stab at that dark. Let's go with Sonnet 116. You take out a piece of folded paper and recite, the Shakespeare, recite Shakespeare's Sonnet 116. Let me not to the marriage of true minds. Admit impediments. Love is not love, which alters when an alteration binds, or bends with the remover to remove. What is this, a wedding? Fast forwarding to the end? This is a dead by daylight property. What are you thinking? Uh, thank you. I guess it's true that love will never be truly perfect. I must withstand the horrors of life, of which there are many. You really understand me, even if we haven't spent every day here together. He takes a deep breath. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll try to catch you up. I guess you've noticed that I'm kind of quiet and thoughtful. I, lo I love chess and maths. I despair at man's capacity for hatred and the power of violence, and yet I'm drawn to it. I am large. I contain multitudes, I guess. I hate money and its power of humanity. Even seeing a gold coin on the island sends me into a rage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sometimes I really don't know what to say or do, but something about you puts me at ease and you saw all this noise and my soul fade away. With you, I can feel myself changing. And that's good. I had to change in order to spend this day with you the way I want. Because I, I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> almost there. He still can't say it. That's okay though. You smile at him warmly. See? There it is. You always know how to comfort me. I, ha I haven't had that in a long time. Huh. Anyone I've been close to has abandoned me. Usually it against their will. But it still hurts. So why bother trying to connect with anyone? They're just going to be brutally murdered while I watch her over here sleep through it. You put your hand on his shoulder. All I want is someone to love. A family to love, to care for. Not touched by evil or greed or purpose. A small house in the middle of nowhere. Never bothered by anyone. You're the first person forever I felt like I could see a future with. 
Wraith holds up Azeroth's skull. When I came to America, seeking a fresh start from trauma and violence in my youth, I was tricked into the employ of a truly evil man. I did unspeakable things. I didn't know what was happening, but I did them. I worried that death and violence were just part of who I was. When I found out this man's true nature, I snapped. I pulled out his skull and spine. I've wielded them like some kind of half-weapon, half-trophy ever since. Oh, God, that's... Oh. Too long I have been attached to Azeroth's skull. I have let it defy me. No more. Wraith tosses the skull into the water! As he watches it sink, you notice a gold coin on the ground that dislodged from it. You know where he... how Wraith is with gold coins. What do you do? I leave that coin alone. I'm not picking it up. Alright, sure, I mean, he's not even looking, but... Okay, waste the opportunity to pick up a perfectly valuable object that might come in handy very soon. Ray turns to you smiling. He seems like a new man. Let's go back to the dump. What a romantic sentence to start the day with. As you walk into the cosmic dump, Wraith oozes nervous excitement. Oh gosh, I have something incredible planned for tonight. He even tries to wink. It's kind of grotesque, but hey, this sad boy is finally opening up. He pulls out some lotions and oils. Oh, sensual. You ready? Hmm, that's odd. Um, what's wrong? No, it's just you're holding Azeroth's skull again. You just made a whole big thing about how you feel like you've changed and you're not defined by it and you threw it away. Oh, yeah, I, I did. Um, Azeroth was terrible and I'm no longer using his skull as my security blanket. This is his brother Paul. Also a really bad guy I took care of. I have 20 of these things. All real bad guys. Oh well, well I guess you can't really change some people. No amount of fixing can fix some people. Anyway, back to our exciting night to end all nights. I'll stay here and prepare. If you want to go find my bell. Oh, right. He takes a step closer and whispers. And then when you come back, we can ring it. Wow. What does that even mean? I don't know, but it seems very exciting. And then what have you done to this anxious, shy boy? He's losing his inhibitions. Maybe soon, he'll be losing his clothes. To get there, though, you have to find the bell. got to be somewhere on the island, right? Where do you start looking? Uh, I think Spirit said something with this. I'm going to go to the Black Lighthouse. So I'm going to check out that creepy Black Lighthouse on the edge of the island. Lighthouses usually have one big room at the top. Should be easy not to search. You didn't leave and catch a wraith winking at you as you again as you exit. You know what? Maybe that wasn't a wink at all. Some of the mud he used to cover up his face is probably dripping while he sweats anxiously. You're over the Black Lighthouse. Optimistic and full of purpose. You don't see a bill anywhere. Uh, Spirit! Hello? Nothing. Nowhere to be found. Let's be honest. Her heart was never really in this process, was it? You start poking around. What if your spirit hit the bell and hit it somewhere around here? Oh. Hey, hot stuff. You turn to see the trickster. Casually posed, light reflecting on his perfect skin. All of his many, many... Too many? Abs. Listening perfectly. Doing some snooping. Oh, I'm looking for spirit. Oh, me too, actually. We were gonna do face masks, and I told her I'd show her on my stage or on IP Island. It's tight. All the killers we couldn't clear to be in the scheme are hanging out over there. Just had a view of you and any interested parties lawyers. Having a blast, doing shots, making content. Oh my, dude, you, you have got to be my good friend. Nope, stop right there. Not getting sued over a dating sim. I feel that. Hey, uh, have you seen Rafe's Bell anywhere? I'm not gonna lie to you, friend. I have no idea who you're talking about. But, uh, you may wanna maybe hop over to the other island. Check out my stage. Yes. Sure, maybe his penis already there. Such a smile. This bus you're about to ask how he plans on any of you there. You blink and... You're there! 
Trickster's private stage in IP Island. And it's empty. Yeah, I mean, it's hella early. Everyone is sleeping and recovering from last night's rager. Things don't really get going here until it's near midnight. This music makes me think I'm about to get murdered. So I have to wait till then to have any fun here? Trickster smiles shyly. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, oh no. How about you uh, leave me alone for a second so I can, you know, freshen up a little first. Trickster likes that idea. This is into that hor- Just as soon as that horny weirdo leaves, you drop the charade and look around for the bell. Nothing. Worried you cover might be blown, you dive into the water and begin a long swim back to the Black Lighthouse. Let's not do as much physical work again, okay? That tickles. Never tickle the ocean, kids. As you dry off and catch your breath, you ponder your next move. So, where to next? Uh, Huntress's Cabin. I have a good feeling about the Huntress's Cabin. I love a cabin in the woods. Great things are always happening with those. People that are walking into them and back out of them unscathed all the time. So Huntress's Cabin, then. Oh, this game is much better than you thought, huh? Might need to replay it a couple times, though. Really be able to grasp how much work was put into it. You enter the Huntress's Cabin and relax. It's just normally cozy, with a warm, quirky vibe. You feel like you could live here, if a kooky killer didn't already. You spot something shiny. Is it the bell? You reach out for it, but you're tackled from behind. It's Huntress. She holds an axe to your throat. I found you. Now I get to kill you. Say, oh yeah, we're pranking Wraith. Uh, I'm running a very complicated long con on Wraith and I'm trying to find his bell so we can do something, I don't know, but I'll probably use a joke on him instead. Huntress's eyes sparkle. This sounds like a fun game. Want to play another one? Uh, sure? Great. I've got the perfect game in mind. Hide and seek. Bet you can't find me. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Okay. Where's the pointer? Or is it just like, oh, it's a circle. Never mind, I see what we're doing. Got it. Oh god, I gotta do it more. Fuck. Jesus Christ, game. Let me do something else besides these spinning wheels. They're gonna drive me crazy and break my eyes. This is too fast. This is this is ridiculous. You missed completely. You're silly. And this was real hide and seek. You'd be dead by now. But this doesn't change anything. What do you mean? I'm still mad you broke into my house. Which is too bad. Because maybe I do know something about the bell. Maybe I'll tell you later. We'll see. Hunter goes into another room and you realize you're not going to get anything else here. Except possibly killed. So where to next? Trapper's cave. Oh god. Maybe Trapper's cave? At least I know where to I know to look out for well traps. With that in mind, I'm sure I can get in and out safely and find that bell. The Trapper's Cave. Surely what you're looking for will be there. So like Wraith has purposes to do on a wild goose chase that will ultimately end up pointless. Ooh. You took Trapper's Cave, tentatively. He is called Trapper. So the reason there may be some traps. Illuminated in a deep blue, the cave is home to a pool of water that shimmers and shines. You find yourself hoping Wraith's bell isn't in there. You hear a voice from behind a pile of rocks, like a feeble old man calling for help. Uh, let's investigate the voice, I guess? You step in front of a large pile of rocks at the mouth of the tunnel. Not that you could help them move, but someone much larger could probably toss them aside with ease. A frail voice calls out! Hello, who's there? Can you help me? Hold on, I'm coming. Despite desperate to help, you push against the rocks with all your might. Dodging one near the top, it rolls off and kills you. 
Probably should have seen this coming. Trapper's Cave isn't the, the set of your average team mystery. It's a secret lair of a trap lane killer. Duh. We died! Where will, how, where will try again take us? Uh, okay. We're all the way back to here? Click, 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 click. We're gonna make the same choices. Oh my god, is there a skip? Can I like skip? Is there a skip button? No, it's just. Alright, I just gotta I just gotta do a bunch of rapid fucking clicks. I'm gonna make sure Curse is out of the way. Go in to the same just, just literally just gonna do the same shit. Literally just the same shit. God damn it. I also thought we were gonna die at the Trickster's place. I really thought he was gonna kill us. That's what he's, that's what he does. Um, there. Right. Wasn't one in the move on with the story. Weird. But I'm not rereading all that. Fuck that. Oh, I have to play the Tuntress's game again! Alright. Oh, Christ. Wait, not bad. What? Close. Alright, this time we don't follow the voice. Look around the cave. You ignore the voice. Look around the cave. Because you have a job to do. Hey, maybe play this again to find out who the voice belongs to. No, thank you. You're saying, could be fun. I already did. Oh, what's this? You found a gold coin. Alright, this one I'll take. Because it's not in front of the, the guy. Very good choice. Oh, there's something else shining next to it. Is that the bell? So again, this is Trapper's Cave. Trapper. You know him. The trap guy? The guy who loves to leave traps? Mm, I don't want to get a game over again. I'm going to take it. Nope, it's a bear trap. You're dead. God damn it! Come on! This is this 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 part bad. This part bad. Is there not like a sk oh, oh, oh. shite. Goodbye, skull. You know I'm gonna take the coin this time. All right, we're gonna go to the Trapper's Cave first this time. Just so that, that way if we screw up again, we have less to go, that we waste our time less. All right, we're taking the gold coin. Quit while we're ahead. Oaky Shadow falls over you. Your turn to save Trapper. Smart. That was a bear trap. And I'm the bear. He cleaves you in two. This is hard. And weird. But it's almost like eliminating Trapper last night made it even harder. Okay! Fuck you! You know what? This time we're not going to search anywhere. 
Because if we search anywhere, we are required to go to Trapper's Cave. And we die no matter what. So, don't go anywhere. It's clearly the answer. Frustrating. Alright, this time we're gonna not take the coin again. Let's do it on our first time. Alright, none of the above. Take another look at Rafe's hot bod. I think I found what I'm looking for right here. Ugh, I told the writers not to give you the ability to choose what to do. But then you choose dumb things like this and have to give you a game over. What? Wait, why did I get a game over that time? Wait. I'm... What am I doing wrong? Do I need to go to the lighthouse but just not follow Trapper? Or, um... What was his fucking name? Alright, the symbol will tell Trickster to fuck off. Absolutely not. I'm on a mission. Guess we're all on our own journey. Until we meet again. As Trickster finishes, you ponder your next move. And I'm left wondering, who just says no to check out the sexy pop star's special hideaway? So where to next? I don't know what to do. Okay, yeah, no. I couldn't remember if there was a second choice after that one. Okay, I don't know what to do. I've done every single option. Okay. Okay. We need the gold coins. They're important, apparently. Alright, so let's go to Trapper's Cave. This is, this is supposed to work. Or maybe... It says order doesn't matter. Well, let's, let's just do it. Alright, look around the cave. We take the coin. Uh, and then we quit over our head. It said...
I'm very confused. Because it says that's what you do. You either give him the coins. Beg for your life. Please, I'm so sorry they noticed the cabin. I wasn't doing anything bad. Please. Please forgive me. Did the wild elk offer my mother forgiveness or did he skewer her? Uh... The skewer I was pretty sure that was going to lead to a death. But I want to see if that will give a different... Um, yeah. I'm guessing there's a different achievement for each different killer killing you at least once. That's a different quote, just kind of see. Give me the coin. Actually, I know what we should try. Let's go to the cave first. We're not picking up the coin this time. You know what? Rather than have somebody remind me this is Trapper's Cave after all, I'm just gonna not touch anything. Step back from all things shiny and enticing, instead of just leaving and figuring out this whole bill situation some other way. Well, well, well. What is it, you're trying to get spending time with me, and yet here you are, in my cave. You got up a big draw to me, can you? What is it? Minimal magnetism? My musk? My hopeless devotion to leg day? I don't think Wraith has ever set foot in leg day. No time to figure out what the hell that even means. You think fast. Uh, you're right, Trapper. It's the leg day thing. I love your leg days. And also the musk. Love a good musk. Knew it. Listen, um, I know I made the wrong choice. Eliminating you and going for Wraith, how could I have been so stupid? You should probably look at me in two. Pack me into pieces. I deserve worse. But if you love me, I want to go back to Wraith and tell him I made a mistake and I'm leaving him. For you. Trevor stares at you unnervingly, a twinkle in his eye. I should probably cleave you in two. You're right. But it takes a truly self-assured person to admit their mistakes. And you're clearly aware that you're stupid. So, you know, we're making progress. Whoa, are you pulling this off? I'll let you go in one condition. When you break the news that you're leaving it for me, tell me a skinny chicken legs. Oh, yeah, if, if you want, I can tell him that. Trapper lets out a hearty laugh. Oh, yeah, I want. You scrape all of the Trapper's cave as you hear his deep laughter echo behind you. I hope the bell wasn't here, because if it was, you're never going to get it. So we're two next. Thank fuck. So I guess pick up the coin here was a bad thing. Whatever. All right, time to see, uh, we have to see that we're pranking Wraith so we don't die. Let's do the game.
Oh. Alright, now go to the Black Lighthouse. We know about all this, we're gonna tell him no. Alright, you've already watched the Huntress and Trapper hang out, and now you've also searched Spirit Spot, and by sheer dumb luck, you've even bumped into the Trickster, too! I'm sorry, I shouldn't have called you dumb. Looks like you're just going to have to admit defeat on this one and head back to Wraith empty handed. You tried hard. You really did. Viewer game, I give you a good review! That being said, Wraith is. Well, I don't want to say unkind, because he has been really nice this whole time. What is that whole spine ripping thing? Into the ruins of the cosmic dump, we're to deliver Wraith the bad news. I know he seems sweet and shy and like he's not a killer, but he totally is. Is there a chance he could kill you? But the place is empty. Hmm. Wraith must be off somewhere. Still preparing. Ugh, what are you gonna do? You still don't have the bell! I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Who are you talking to? Huntress pops up from behind with a giant obelisk, smiling behind her mask. I followed you back here. It was fun. Like a cat stucking prey. Oh, yeah, that sounds fun. Have you left? I was thinking. I want to tell you about the bell. Oh my god, Huntress, thank you. But it's going to cost you. Empty your pockets and hand over all your gold coins. Ooh, sparkly. Okay, so, Wraith's Bell. Last night, Spirit couldn't sleep, so she was wandering around her, floating around. I don't really know what she does, technically. And apparently she wandered in here. She saw Wraith asleep and thought it'd be funny to see this bell. I think they had a fling or something and she's still mad about it. Or not. Who knows? She's definitely mad about something. I was up going pee pee when she walked by my cabin and the bell caught my eye so I ran outside. Even though it's rusty and old, the bell is still kind of shiny so I offered to pay her for it. But she said she had the perfect spot for it picked out at the top of her lighthouse. Oh, great. And you go back to the lighthouse and deal with spirit. Cool. Fantastic. You return to the lighthouse and head right upstairs. No more messing around. And this time, Spirit is waiting for you! But we're in the streets. It's you're looking for me. Or are you looking for me? Ha! Um, yeah. No. I have literally no idea I would want to be around you. Especially if you picked Wraith. Did you already get sick of the sad boy and what the sad girl would do it for you? Oh, cut the crap and give me the bell. I don't have time for this. Oh. Oh my. Spirit seems aroused by your aggression. Honestly, so am I. Just a little though. Let's not let things get weird between us. So you want Rafe's bell? How about we play a little game? I call it Don't Look Into the Light. Or die! You can only open your eyes and I'm blocking the light. If you look directly at it, I'll die. Precisely. You're much smarter than you look. No offense. Stop on spirit and don't look straight into the light. If you look directly at it, your brain probably won't survive the stress. Alright. So it's the last one. All right. Got it perfect. Well, congrats. You follow basic instructions. Guess how you get a prize? Your prize is you didn't die, and your soul didn't completely evaporate into steam and float away. Spirit hands over the bell. Now, please leave me alone. Gladly. And with that, you march triumphantly back to Wraith! Hell yeah.
You excitedly walk in to see Wraith in his sexiest outfit yet. Your eyes do that cartoon thing where they bug out of your skull. A wooga. In true Wraith fashion, his reaction is a little more subdued. He just looks at you and sort of smiles. I uh, hope you have something for me that's gonna make me as happy as I just made you. Look at this guy, so open and comfortable, in his own skin, cloak, painted, burnt, flesh, thing. Beaming, you hold up the bell. It took me all over the island, but I found it. Spirit stole it because, oh god, it's a long story. No, you, you want to tell me what we'll be doing with it? Ray holds his bell and tears up. He kisses it. Weird. There's some sexual tension here, not gonna lie. Oh, there definitely is. Especially when I just fucking noticed, uh, the text box right now is perfectly positioned. Perfectly positioned. Jesus. Only one more thing until we can finish this. Uh, what are we finishing? Or should I say, who? You ink. Oh, it's a nice touch. You know, I can't tell you that yet. Oh, yeah, he's pretty much naked. But why we wait? Wraith hands you a super sexy outfit. Mm, outfit is maybe too strong of a word. This is barely more than just a tiny bit of cloth connected by various thin elastic bits. You look at it, you bite your lip. Should I change? Oh, you'd better. You duck behind one of the owls and take off all your clothes! Slipping into your new, sheer, barely there collection of straps! It's very strappy. It is incredibly revealing. Somehow you look more naked with this on than you would if you were actually naked. It's really something. Hey! Eyes up here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, it's just... It's, it's impressive! You return to the Wraith and model your new outfit. I'm wearing basically nothing. Is wait, hold up! What the fuck is it? Are there flowers growing out of his head now? What the fuck? That's weird. I don't like that. That's that's some weird shit. Nah. Oh, just you wait. The lights dim. Oh dang! Is this what you've been waiting for, you little freak? Relaxed and confident, Wraith is a totally different pe person than the introverted loner you met when you arrived on the island. Are you ready? I want to give you my heart. Oh, I'm ready. The lights go out. It's so chilly. Don't worry. We'll warm up. He's not wrong. Rafe's naked skin feels like fire on yours. The fire he's been so afraid of this whole time. You melt into his arms, his lips exploring. Uh... I should, uh, you know, I, I should probably leave you two alone. Uh, it, it feels weird to be documenting this. Before I give you my heart, I'm going to give you something else. Hmm, there it is. Yeah, I'm going to head out. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in a holdup. Uh, even in the dark, I think I know that smell. It's like salad dressing mixed with suntan oil. Dwight and Claudette? Oh. Oh. Guess I like to watch. Imagine Death Slinger in this. Oh god, with his jaw being all lopsided. Oh Jesus. Oh no. No. There's worse. I mean, it could be Blight. Ugh. God, how would that be? Mm, nope, don't want to think about how that would work. No, thank you. Moving on. Uh, hold that thought, little birds. Wraith, your special guest is here a little early. Wow, I didn't know human bodies could fit that way together. Oh, sure they can. I'll show you when we're done tonight. The lights pop back on. You and Wraith are still wearing virtually nothing. Uh, no time to get dressed. We've got to go immediately. That's right. It's secret hatch reveal time. Oh, we've, we've been there. That's, that's not really a secret. And no, that's not some double entendre. Follow us. Thwart and Cloudy disappear into an open hatch in the ground. Wraith throws on some clothes and you both follow. Imagine Legion though. Hey! Legion! Listen, talk about a fivesome. 
The, the four legions, just saying. God, it's even colder down here. Have a whole party with them, Jesus. Uh, well, um, have fun. Our job pretty much stops at getting here. Also, plague would not be good. Plague would be very bad. Oh, there was a license killer I forgot to mention earlier. I forgot about the pig. Damn it. I knew there was somebody else with him. Oh, uh, have fun. Uh, contrary to what you may have heard, we don't like to watch. Not this. See you later. The climb back up the ladder as you turn around. Across from you stands a very old Nigerian woman? What? Ah, uh, okay. Who the fuck are you? Just Legion of the Crows that they stole in her party on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they stole the Trapper's cruise ship, because apparently he has a goddamn yacht. Oh, yeah, this isn't the hag. Huh. Grandma Abby. Oh, Philip. They embrace. You're suddenly very aware of how exposed your skin is and how chilly you are. Uh, forgive me, Zantok. This is my grandmother. Oh, Abigail. Pleased to meet you, Zantok. So you're the one my little Philip has chosen. Interesting. Interesting. What does that mean? You need to earn the respect of Grandma Abby now? I can't wait to know the person my Philip has decided to give his heart to. Come, help me make drinks. Uh, you go with Grandma Abby. I have to prepare the bell. Happy to. Fill up. Yeah. Yeah, all the killers have names. Uh, we got Philip, uh, something, I don't remember his last name. Uh, Evan McMillan for the Trapper. I want to say. Ren is the spirit? And Huntress. Oh. I don't remember the Huntress's name. But it's something Russian. Wraith looks sheepish. Like he's reverted a little back to his old shelf. Oh, yeah, I guess I never told you my real name. Philip Ojomo. That's right. That's right. Ojomo. I did not remember that. You bow deeply. Nice to meet you, Philip. Oh, Jomo. Roof laughs, grabs the bell, and jets. Grandma Abby takes your hand and guides you to the table with potions. Come, let's get some refreshments. I'm an old lady, and it's not so easy for me to mix these exactly. My hands just aren't as steady as they once were. You'll need to help me pour. Now it doesn't seem like the time for questions like, what is this? Or... Are you supposed to drink these possibly poisonous liquids? Just get to it. Fill that cup up! Okay. Doing one of these again. Her Lola Line's real thing that's in fact? Yeah, uh, I did, um... Uh... Huntress did, I did the story time with Huntress. And she actually sang the lyrics for the Lola Line. I didn't know there were lyrics. That was interesting. Ooh. Not quite close. Well, close. Ah! I need. I want perfects! There we go. Hmm. That could have been better. But I certainly wouldn't be able to manage it. I suppose that we'll have to do. Oh, save my game? Alright, I will save my game. Saved? Did it actually. Okay, yeah, I did see the time saved. Good. Hell yeah. Come, while we wait, I want to make sure you're the one. You sit across from her, and she smiles brightly at you. Philip has been through so much. He saw things the child that no child should have to ever think about. I fear what that could do to a person. But not Philip. He is thoughtful and strong-willed. He is a good boy. I agree. That's odd. Uh, although, thinking back to what you two were getting up to right before this, maybe you don't agree. You want to see the Dead by Dating Sim skin for Trapper, not gonna lie? I, 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 the only one I've seen in Dead by Daylight, I've, I've only seen Wraiths. I haven't seen, or not Wraiths, um, Spirits. I haven't seen the other three. B. 
big floppy hat. Uh, where was I? All right, although, thinking back to what you were two were getting up to right before this, maybe you don't agree. Tell me, Zantok, Philip's birthday is coming up. What would you get him as a gift? Gold, a nice candle, or a statue of a horse. Okay, well, he said before he hates the sight of money. He doesn't like fire! So a statue of a horse. I don't know. Something big and bold. Maybe a statue of a horse? You have no idea why you said that, and you immediately regret it. But Grandma Abby's face lights up. Wonderful. That would remind him of the knight, his favorite chess piece. It's also my favorite chess piece. Hunters and Spare are the only ones that to have the- Oh, really? I thought Trapper and uh, Wraith also got outfits in DVD. Huh. That's stupid. They should absolutely have given the outfit for all four of them. And for Clara and Dwight, they didn't have theirs. You might as well do Trickster since he's in the game for some reason. Odd. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I know. You liar. Okay. Tell me this. If Philip could be a tree, what kind of tree would he be? Uh. I mean, I answer what kind of plant I would be. I don't know about him. Uh. I mean, cactus, when I picked that one for myself, they said it was like prickly, prickly on the outside, but soft on the inside, but I don't think he's prickly on the outside. So, rhododendron, we'll do that. How do you say the other one? Uh, I say rhododendron. I don't know if that's correct, but that's what makes sense to my brain. With colorful, beautiful blossoms, they make me explode with energy and feel alive inside. Not great. Grandma Abby furrows her brow, just enough to make you concerned. He might make you feel that way, but that's not who Philip is. Maybe you're just nervous. This is a strange situation, I admit. She considers you for another beat, then calls out. Philip, we are ready. Oh, give me a couple more minutes. She turns back to you. Well then. How about a game to lighten the mood before our big event? Maybe we can do some constellation trivia or play cornhole. Oh, that's convenient. You may have played one of these before. Never mind the fact that they were in a different location and it makes no sense that you could do them here, on ground, in a completely different area. We have plenty of money to make some other mini games, okay? This is Dead by Daylight! Just have some goddamn fun for once in your life! It's one of these games may be familiar to you. Who knows? You might get an extra relationship status boost if you tried the one you haven't before. I mean, I am kind of interested in Constellation trivia. I know a thing or two about Constellations. You're on. Hey, I was like answering random questions about Constellations in a bizarre and high stakes situation. And look at us. We're an educational game, too. Grandma Abby sizes you up. Okay, then. What's the answer to this? This constellation roughly translates to Sea Whale. It is located in a region of the sky alongside other water-related constellations. That is obviously Cetus, or Cetus. I'm not really sure of the pronunciation. But Aquarius is the water bearer. The Big Dipper is Ursa Major. It, it's Cetus, it's obvious. Grandma Abby coughs an eyebrow. Perhaps really she's underestimated you. You smile proudly. That's right, I know my space shit. You're right. But maybe that was just a lucky guess. Okay, next question. What do we call the constellations located in the ecliptic or the path of the sun? Oh, that's the fucking zodiac. Grandma Abby shrugs. That's right. Good to know you can get the easy ones. Last question. This constellation. Oh, I know this one! This constellation was first described by Nicholas Louis de Lacaille, or however the hell that name was said, and roughly translates to. Pendulum Club. Horologium! I know that because of fairy tale. Abby nods. Impress. Okay. I thought that was tough, but you got it. Good job. Hey, you got all three right. Looks like Grandma Abby is pretty impressed with you. I'm glad you got a moment to relax. Sorry I yelled at you earlier. It's been a long game. Yeah. I thought, you know. Google told me this game was only going to be 20 hours, or 20, 22 hours, Google said two hours, and yet here we are, four hours in. 
Wraith re-enters. Holding the bell. It looks brand new. I think we're ready. Uh, time to drink up. Imagine hagging this though. I don't want to. Yeah. Grab Ali, hands up the potions. Uh, drinks. You made. First the Wraith, then herself. Then you. She stops and looks at you. She stares you down intensely with a sweet smile on her face. No matter what you do, you cannot abandon my villain. Do you understand? He has been abandoned his whole life. I regret leaving that bunker. His parents regret leaving our village. But he is here now, and he has opened up to you, of all people. You cannot betray him. Dredge? Oh, God! Not Dredge! Oh. Oh, Jesus, no. Dredge? The Dredge Maurice skin. Nope. Or I will haunt you from my grave. And my spectral form is not always as nice as this one before you right now. Oh, uh, thank you for that advice. Knight? Uh, Knight wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. I mean, we don't really see it. They'd have to come up with a face for the knight, because he's just covered up in the helmet. But, you know, it's not, not, it's not a dredge or a blight. Get some medieval shit. And you know, he's got friends. Kinda like Legion has friends. Oh god. Of course, dear. Now, where were you two before I arrived? Oh, uh, we're about to play a board game. Fully, fully cloaked. Of course. Oh, it, it's okay. She knows. Wait, she does? Of course I do. It's a requirement of the ritual. Wait, the what? Grandma, Abby, and Wraith stand up and walk to the wall with hanging chains and locks. Are you ready? Yes. I am finally ready to leave this place. If Grandma, Abby places Wraith in chains, your jaw drops. What is happening? This is what we've been working towards. This is how we consummate our relationship. The cult of the Black Veil would do this ritual to leave and return to the island. One lover would be sacrificed, and the other would do the sacrificing. Oh. Oh no. I have been bamboozled. So, here, here I am, ready to move on, to be sacrificed. Oh! Not bamboozled, this is okay. No, 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 wait, hold on, this is crazy! I don't even know what to do! Well, that's why Grandma Abby's ghost was summoned. To help. Philip's heart must be removed, lit on fire, and the bell rung. Everything you've done here has been building to this. No, sorry, I... I can't do this. I can't do this! Grandma Abby, don't give him the, tr the dagger! What? Wait, what's happening? This ritual requires sacrifice on both ends. The person taking my heart out needs to love me in order to lose me. And I need to love that person in turn. But I don't know how to say this. You don't love him. Wraith nods. Your heart races as you simultaneously feel like you've died. I'm, I'm sorry, it's not you, it's, it's me. Being your inability to connect with me. Maybe we just didn't spend enough time together. Maybe when we did, we just didn't relate in the way we should have. But I really like you. Maybe we can be friends? We try to get past the shock of what's happening and realize... He's right. It feels forced. You're not right for each other. But you do really enjoy spending time with him, for the most part. You even believe all his nutjob theories about the island and the cult of the Black Veil. After a while, you smile. And finally respond. Yeah. We can be friends. Reeve smiles back. Grandma Abby also smiles. Trickster enters and smiles for some reason. Look at everyone, just a bunch of smiling idiots. How wonderful for you all. What does life on the island look like for you now? Maybe you can try to hook up with another killer? Maybe you can develop your friendship with Wraith? Maybe you can help him find someone that he'll really love. 
Can you be the Igor to his Victor Frankenstein? What about that cute nurse who just showed up at reception? Oh, you haven't heard. She's unpacking her stuff back at the cabanas. I hear him and her have a thing. Guess I should probably have told you that about 20 scenes ago, huh? Oops. No matter. This is the end for you. Welcome to the friend zone. Enjoy your stay. I had a feeling we'd probably get that ending because I was spreading around to everybody. But, you know, I'm the completionist sort, so I gotta see everything. And so, my precious killers lived happily ever after, as they should, learning to love themselves first and foremost. Whilst trapped in a never-ending cycle of torture of my desire. Is the ocean the entity? Wait, did I just spoil my true identity? Well, you made it this far, so you should probably know that. You'll have to play again to find out more. Goodbye, Zantok. See you again later. And again. And again. And again. Forever. <laughs> oh. That's the game. And there's the credits. Alright, well, technically I have done what I was supposed to do. Uh, there's a channel point challenge to force me to play a dating sim, and I've done it! I, I played the game. I, I completed it. I did four hours of the stream. Uh, but you know what? You know what? Fine. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like a weird one. Like I, th I mean, it was weird. Let's be honest. It's a, we it's a weird game. But it wasn't like... It wasn't iffy in the way that I thought it could be iffy. So fuck it. This is the next scene that we're going to be playing for the next several weeks on Saturdays. And we're going to try to get all the endings and potentially all the achievements, maybe, depending on how much of an ass they are. I don't know. I haven't played this before today. For today, though, we're done for today because it's been four hours and I am hungry. And also, I only normally stream four hours. Anyways, you know, you know it's, it's the schedule. It's, it's, it's a schedule for a reason. Schedules are important. But uh, once the credits roll here, we'll go ahead and close out this game. Uh, and then next Saturday, I, I think we'll probably just um, hard focus on Wraith for the next plate for the next run. Uh, that way we can see all of his events. Then we can also do the uh, true ending with him. Uh, and then we'll also, from what I, because I looked up some little bit of stuff. I read things. It's like each killer has a a friend zone ending. Each killer has a. Uh, you're both in love with each other ending, and each killer has a they love you but you reject them ending. So I gotta do all of it. I gotta do all the endings because I'm a crazy person! Ah! But. So yeah, since, since we started with uh, Wraith here, really by chance, because uh, I did the whole spinning the bottle thing blindfolded, pretty much, we'll just do all of Wraith first, and then we'll move on to another killer, and we'll do all of them first. You inflicted this on yourself? I mean, I really did. I didn't have to make this a channel point challenge. I was just like, eh, fuck it. I had the morbid, the morbid curiosity about this game anyways. Fuck it, why not? Because traditionally, as you do also, when I've run polls for um, people to be able to force me to play certain games, I always ban dating sims because I just don't want to deal with that shit. But I figured, okay, here's a special occasion. Why the hell not? And it was fine, it wasn't a bad game. Uh, strange in its unique ways, to be sure. Very strange. But. You know, entertaining. And because I'm a monster, I'm gonna have to. What? We're crediting the fonts? Is that a thing? Do you have to put fonts in the credits of games now? What? Hmm. Alright, is there anything after the credits? Or are we just going back to the menu? Best back to the main menu. Alright, well, uh, with that said... Shout out to the sick fonts. I mean... I didn't notice them being anything particularly different, if I'm being honest. But I guess maybe they are? I don't know. I do like how they did the, the Y here for you. That's pretty cool. Alright, and that's another episode down of Hooked on You, a Dead by Daylight dating sim. Uh, we dated. We made some choices, 
We might have pissed off a killer or two. We might have made the killer or two fall for us. I don't know. There's several episodes of this, and this is only this is just one intro. Anyways, uh, see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.